This Let's Play was supported by these awesome hobby companies. Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Marvel Crisis Protocol. I am joined in the studio by Jerry and uh, we are going to be playing this fabulous, fabulous superhero game. Jerry. Jerry Smash. Jerry Smash. Jerry Smash. Jerry Smash. Jerry angry? Do I not like Jerry when I see him angry? Well, we'll find out. Depends yeah. whether or not I get beat. Yeah. Uh, if you want to have a look on the table, you can mm. see we've laid out a small-ish Ville. Yes. I know, wrong franchise, deliberate. <laughs> Uh, and we are playing the basically the learn to play scenario that yes. comes in the main core box. It's called LTP Noob. Really? No. But you know, <laughs> oh, it's, not, it should have been. it's not far away from it. Missed um, the trick there, lads. And it sets up the ten heroes mm. uh, in the in the starting box set against each other mm -hmm. with a, a very defined set of objectives for your first game to sort of take you through where Marvel Crisis Protocol goes. Yeah. And they've actually mixed up heroes and villains in this yeah. scenario, which is something you can't do in the game. So I yeah. like that even in the learning game, they're making you do it. Yeah, I've, well, I've got five heroes and you've got mostly villains. Possibly Skrull? I imagine you're all Skrull, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, on my side, I'm going to be playing with Captain Marvel, Doctor Octopus, Captain America, Crossbones and Iron Man. And I've got the superior Spider-Man, Baron Zemo, uh, the Red Skull, Ultron, and the Black Widow. Mm. So, right. So uh, for this game, yes. I will begin with priority. So I will keep a little token here to remind myself. Okay, uh, that can change if I start losing heroes, but you do have to do a lot of work to KO a hero yeah. in this game. It, it's impossible to knock somebody out in the first turn, mm. or um, even two turns. Like you really have to focus. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's possible that somebody can go in there in turn one and daze your hero. Mm -hmm. But because they don't flip until the end of the turn, yep. you can never be dazed and then injured and then killed. So, it, yep. you know, it, well, it stops. Not, sorry, not killed. It stops kill Alpha. Here. I kill everybody. It stops Alpha striking. Yeah. Well, uh, we also have our two mission cards. Mm -hmm. We'll get two in every scenario you play, as far as I understand. So, we've yep. got uh, the struggle for the cube continues. Uh, place five cosmic cube markers on the table. So, that's this one, this one, this one, and those two that Jerry's pointing at. Uh, we then have Riot Spark over Extremis 3, which are these ones. So you've got this one, that one, that one, and that one. Mm -hmm. Any more? Nope, nope. Four, four? four Extremis and five of the finest Cosmic Cube shards to play with. Yeah, and our goal is to hit six, three, 16 victory points before the end of round six. Yes. If we tie at the end of round six, we play an additional round until one of us has more victory points than the other. Yes, it's all so good. The game will have a definitive end. Yeah. Um, we should say as far as terrain goes. Yes. So we've got a mixture of bits of terrain here. So the kiosk, the cars, the dumpsters. Mm -hmm. And the bin. Well, the kiosk, the cars, the dumpsters are all size two. Oh, right. As would be the bus shelter. Yeah. The little bin is only one. Oh, I um, see. The buildings are five. So the buildings can't be destroyed. Mm hmm Potentially, depending on what's being slammed into what, mm -hmm. some of these may go away. Yeah, or and be we, we are using a mixture of terrain, so you can see we've got some from Crisis Protocol itself in here, mm. and some for the guys over at Foreground who do a, a nice sort of homeland apocalypse range. That's yeah. perfect for this game. Right, we're in the middle of Middle America. Yes. Some shenanigans have happened. Very much so. Yeah. And the, thankfully, my heroes are here to stop whatever terrible things you're up to. Oh no 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 no! Yeah. I think I think you'll find there's been some miscommunication here. Anyway, I have priority, so our first stage of a round is what? So the first thing you do is you have a power phase before anybody activates where you go down and everybody gets a power mm -hmm. token plus any effects that are sitting on your characters um, or from crisis cards that have been played in previous games or games, previous rounds are resolved. Well, let's pop those down now. I, yep. I always find it handy just to track it on my actual character cards and not just beside the miniature. I find it a lot easier that way just to keep track of who's well, got what. It does say in the in the game to play them on your card so mm. you, you can see who's got what and where. Yeah. We have no other um, things to resolve from the power phase. Mm -hmm. So there's, n there's no, being the first turn, there's nothing else that's happened. So yeah. let's just go ahead and start activation and it's alternate activations. Okay. So. Let's go with Captain America first. He's leading the way. Okay. So Scroll America. Right here, 
and his movement is medium, so he will grab the token that Jerry has painted. A lovely shade of green with the Hulk jumping on it here. Hmm. That's I why it's green. What I'll have him do is he's just going to move up to here, mm -hmm. and right next to that first uh, cube here. Yeah. So the question becomes, how do I pick this up from so, here? So if you move within one inch, mm -hmm. which is the width of one of these, so. doesn't matter which stick you pick. Yeah, um, but on, on your way past, you can grab them, and it's a free, it's a free action. It won't cost you one of your two actions you get per turn. All right, I'll have that. Boink. So shard of the cube. Yeah, and I'll. I assume because it's a shard, I'm picking it up and carrying it with me. While oh, the yeah. others are consoles. Yeah, which well, will not the, move. yeah, the little yellow ones are extremist consoles. They stay where they are. But right. the shards you can pick up, you can carry with you, and if you have the head battered off you, you'll drop them. <laughs> so. All right. Uh, I think I will continue moving with the, the good captain here because mm -hmm. he's got two actions. So he's just going to move up to our beautiful little Daily Bugle kiosk here and just stand behind it there, waiting for someone to turn up, just waiting to sucker punch them. Okie dokie. Of course, Captain America wouldn't do that. He might not be the real Captain America at this stage. I imagine he probably isn't. Uh, what are okay. you yourself going to do? That's an interesting question, isn't it? I think I will activate Natasha. Natasha's a bit nimble. She can... Uh... Oh, you're using the long movement stick? Yep. Wow, she's fast. She is. She's great. Much better than your terrible anti-heroes that you have over there. She will also pick up a cosmic cube fragment on mm -hmm. the way past. She mostly has short range. So her further sort of range is three, which isn't great. It's about six inches. Do I just nip out there and grab another cosmic cube fragment? <laughs> could you make it to another one? Yes, Damn, you could. Is the answer there? Do I want to take cosmic cube fragments? Are great. They will give you power in your phase, but, but they give will you, also hurt you. Yeah, they give you power by taking two damage. <laughs> which, yeah, she couldn't afford to hold those for long. No. But it's nice to be able to get to there and do that. But. I think, I think actually we're going to go this away. Yeah. I'm actually not going to go the full distance there. Okay. I'm just going to go close enough that I am. Actually, no, we will, in case you touch push it. me back, I'll just okay. get up to touching. So I'm in a position where I can hold that. Okay. So she's so. activated. So but for these particular ones, whenever you're activation. in range, it's whoever has the most healthy characters yes. next to it, yeah? It starts with healthy. So mm. one healthy will beat two injured. Right. Injured beats dazed. Gotcha. All right, so it's back to me, Dan? Yep. Hmm. I kind of want to hold things off a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have Crossbones go. He's my slowest guy. Mm -hmm. He only moves at speed short. But if you start hitting him, he will start running towards you being very angry about it. So I'll have him go to here. And from behind this building, I think I'll have him charge right up the middle of Main Street, not really caring over much about who sees him or what they say to him. So he'll get to there. I think I'm going to actually activate the Red Skull. Ooh. I think I'm going to use his um, Cosmic Cube. OK. He's not moving or anything. No, well, not for his first action. His first action is he gains three power for using the cube. Oh, lovely. But I have to roll five dice, and uh, I have a potential to take damage from using the cube. Ah. Uh. So for each skull, mm. he'll take one damage. OK. Uh, no skulls. Perfectly no skull. fine. Three power, no damage. Loves it. Can't get enough of it. So just staring at it going, unlimited power. Uh, yeah. That type of thing. Mm. The Fuhrer digs for trinkets in the desert. In this case, because we're looking for shards of the Cosmic Cube, this is probably the second fake Cosmic Cube. Ah. Uh, um, how many have there been? Just the two. Just the, the two? They, they are sentient, though, so it's best not to mess around with them too much. I see. Uh, and for his second action, he will... He's actually going to move to... Ah. There-ish, which okay. will put him within range. Yeah, and that will activate that console for you. Well, we'll see at the end of the turn. He may be pushed off it before then. Yeah. And I think the next one for me is going to have to be Captain Marvel. Mm -hmm. It's time to do something about your uh, shenanigans. Medium yes. movement, please. Medium. Thank you. So Captain Marvel is just going to 
bomb it straight up the field towards the widow. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe just shimmy it there. And then let's have a look at our card. Let's see what abilities we have here. Mm -hmm. One thing I'm noticing about this game, your basic attacks are not range one or in base contact. So you yeah. don't have to be constantly fighting to get into base contact with someone. No, you uh, just get up close and then punch them in the face. It's good. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't think I'm going to punch you in the face just yet. No. Uh, I'm going to use an energy blast, which has a range of four. Okay. So I'll grab our lovely, lovely range ruler here. Mm -hmm. And from where we are, you are well inside my range. Mm -hmm. And then I'll have a look at the strength, which is four for four dice. Okie dokie. And actually, one thing I want to do is move a little bit less. Well. But, but before that. you decide that you're going to move a little bit less, yeah. the Black Widow is stealthy. Yeah. You must be within range three to target her. So ah. if you move less, you're not going to be in range anymore to hit her. See, then uh, I'm just going to have to take it on the chin and stay closer. Yep. Okay, so I am within three, yeah? You're just within three there, yeah. Okay, four dice. And anything special on this one? Uh, after the attack, I'll gain a power. Uh, I can reroll any number of attack dice for the attack. Okay. Which is nice. So that's two wilds with yep. your hits, and I'll reroll these two uh, for another hit, and I can't reroll the crit. Game. Can't reroll the skulls. Yeah. No. Well, that's still three potential damage. Three. On the three's wave. good. Um, that's a beam attack. It is a beam attack. So, so it's an energy attack. I only have two dice against energy. Our survey says one save, so I'll take two points of damage. Nice, and I will gain my one power. That's okay, I'll gain two of the finest power for taking the damage. As people get beaten up, they uh, gain power as they harness their strength, their rage. Oh, so as you're taking damage, you also gain power. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that will be Captain Marvel finished. So, who wants it? You all want it, but who is going to get it? I feel like Zemo probably wants to do something. But if I take the Spider-Man, do I have the option to chuck things at you? No, we will. We'll take Zemo. Oh, Zemo is also nippy. Zemo also moves large. Lovely. So, Zemo will go to there. And we'll Cosmic Cube on the way past. Oh, lovely. And then he could go again to get him in a position for next turn. You have... Doc Ock and Iron Man to go. Yeah, Iron Man has some good long range attacks. Mm. Range four and five attacks. Uh, whereas Doc Ock is range three and four attacks. I will actually. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Uh, straight for the victory points. I'm going to come to here and defend the victory points. So I just get behind the. Uh, the dumpster, yeah. Dumpster, and as I believe they call well, it. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll see at the end of the turn. You don't claim it until the cleanup phase. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hmm. So you just have the web slinger left. And Ultron. Oh, yeah, and Ultron. Hmm. Honestly, uh, I'm going to go with Doc Ock. Uh, he moves medium. Yes, the inferior Spider Man, as I believe they call him. Well, he's just going to. What would he rather have? I think he'd rather have the consult than a damaging cube. Mm -hmm. So I'll put that down there. He has another movement that he can do. So in fact, he'll do that and he will bumble up here and grab the cube. Which I'm quite content with. Mm -hmm. I'll pop that on there. He'll start taking damage soon enough. Okie dokie. Hmm? That's his activation token. Oh, right. Sorry. I thought once I stopped here, I was claiming that. No, it's only in the cleanup phase you claim them. Ah. So you have to be within one inch in your cleanup phase at the end of the turn. I see. Is it okay if I reset that turn? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So he would come back from where he was. Mm-hmm. Uh, take that away. And they did deposit your cube. Yep. Deposit it there. Mm -hmm. And then if he was starting 
from here he yep. was. So from here he can bumble out to here. Grab that cube. Yeah. Grab the cube. And then go to. And then go to the console, like so. Mm -hmm. Which should be good enough. Yep. Perfect. I'll do. Okay, dokey. So Ultron, the delightful Mister Ultron. He only moves medium. That is a terrible shame. But come looking for you, I think. Oh dear me. So you can get to there. Yeah, and pick that a up. Piece of his own. And that will be him activated. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's just the Iron Man left. In fact, he moves medium. That means you can have that one. Okay. And the Iron Man has fly. Mm -hmm. So you can fly onto the top of buildings. Yep. Completely freely. Mm -hmm. And he will then fly on across and down to here. Which I think will make for interesting things. Give the web slinger nothing to work with. Okay. Just a little Peter Parker left. You don't know. Could be Miles Morales. Could be anybody. We're all Peter Parker. Except Toby Maguire, who isn't. <laughs> what about the new kid? Tom Holland actually does a New York accent, unlike all the other Spider Men who couldn't be bothered. Point. If I go to there, can I get in a position to hit you? No, I don't believe I can. No, with that. Yeah, I've hung back just a little too far. That's okay. I'll put myself in a position where I can ask questions next turn, maybe. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, actually, I'll just go to there. Okay. Is good enough for Spider Man? Mm hmm. Okay. So yeah. that's all the activations done? Yes, it is. Cool in the gang. Uh huh. So at the end of the turn, then, we have the cleanup phase. And this is where you start scoring. Okay. So, first thing you need to do is uh, victory points. So, from our mission tracker, I've got three cosmic cubes. I've got two. So, I get three. You get two, mm -hmm. and then uh, terminals held, so uh, I hold healthy people within one inch. I hold one, you hold three. I hold three, so you're going to pop up to three, whereas I'm going to go to six. Oof. Running away with it, early doors. Yeah, uh, sorry, I'll start punching you in the face in a minute. Okie dokie. Um, resolve any player effects, don't have any, so that's mm -hmm. good. Um, we haven't had any crisis cards that have come in yet. Mm -hmm. No dazed characters, smashing and uh, if the player who activated the last character has the priority token, they pass it. So that was me, yep. I didn't, yep. that's fine, you hold it. Remove all activation tokens and move the round tracker. So we go on to round two and the tokens come up. Okay, let's kick into round two for the power phase then. Yep. So everybody gains one? Yep. All right, uh, Any uh, anything else? Ah, yes. Yes. Uh, Cubes. So anybody carrying a fragment of the cube will gain an additional power but take damage for it. One power and one damage, that's Doc Ock and Captain America for me. Black Widow gets one. Mm -hmm. Ultron gets one. Okay. Zemo gets one. And then it's uh, no other effects on us, so nope. straight into activations. Okay, so I'm still activating first. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the best thing to do... Mm -hmm is just start laying into Ultron. So I'm going to activate Doc Ock. Mm -hmm. And from where he is here, he's just going to move on into, well, does he, I don't think he even needs to move because he's got range three on his attacks. And I think Ultron is well in. However, there is one little bin in the way. Will that give you cover? Technically. It's an interesting question because it's a smaller size piece of terrain. It is. It's size one, I'm size three. Mm. But, there's but it a, is in the way. But there's a set of three simple rules and you need to have all three of them to get it. Ah, I see. So cover is 
I must be within range one of the train feature. I yes. am. A straight line can be drawn from any portion of the attacker's base through it. Yes. yes. And the attacker is not within range two of the defender. Uh, I am just there, I think. Yeah, just about touching. Yeah. So if you get them all, you get cover. If and not, no. And if you don't, you don't. All right, then Doc Ock is just going to start striking away at you with his... Uh, now, what's your defense? Is physical and... Uh, energy? Energy, yeah. Four for physical, three for energy. All right, uh, I'm going to spend three power to get things kicked off then, because I'm going to use my arm lasers. So uh, this attack ignores line of sight, and the defending character does not benefit from cover. It also has pierce, so any wilds change one of the defending character's uh, defense... Uh, successes into a blank. Okay. So I have to keep track of those. So this will be a strength of six. So six dice attack. And let's see what we get. Okay. Yeah. Two. So I've got two, but I've got one wild, which will let me change one of your successes into a feel. Okay, dokie. And this is beam? Energy, yes. So three saves then. Mind, I get to convert. So none. Uh, so no, none. So okay. I'll take two damage. Two damage. And gain two power then. Yes. Yes, I will. This is fine. Uh, then Doc Ock is just going to go for a regular strike. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's range three, power of four. And for this one, any wilds I roll count as two successes. Okay. Uh, so that's a critical. So mm -hmm. I roll that up by one. Yep. Uh, so that's three becomes four because of wild. Okay. So. And this is physical. a physical strike? Yes. And then whatever damage I do to you, I will gain this power. Okay. Apparently so all the damage. Block one, take three. Bump, 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 bump. So I will gain three power for that. I'll get three into there. Mm -hmm. And that will be Doc Ock finished. Okay, dokie. I think that will make me dazed. Okay. For hitting my stamina limit in the turn. Okay. So, dazed, if I remember right, it affects your power. If you gain power, you would only gain one power. Yes, but there's a couple of other things it does as well. So, a character with a dazed token can't move or be moved for any reason. It can't be targeted or affected by anything else. Okay. Uh, can't make any attacks or team tactic cards and don't have superpowers. They never contribute to scoring conditions. He becomes dazed. There you go, sir. Thank you. Well, start swinging around his head. He will drop the uh, cosmic cube. Okay, within two, yeah. Within two, so I'm going to chuck it behind me. Ah, wise play. You catch, delightful man, with your lovely square. <laughs> I'll go. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. And yours. My go. So Dog ox has gone. He's not a major issue to me anymore. I'm actually yeah. going to start with uh, Natalia, or okay. Natasha rather. So right up the, the back Black of the Widow. Yep. Yeah. First thing we'll do is spend a power mm -hmm. to use the extremist console to heal one damage. Okay. I think I'm going to bop Captain Marvel, you know. Really? Yeah. Because why not? Mm. You're only on once. I was finding it surprising just how deadly the Black Widow is. Oh, you know, if, if it wasn't for Clint, she'd be one of the deadliest per people in there. Probably. I'm looking forward to seeing Clint out there, <laughs> tearing off his fingernails and killing people with them. <laughs> So, um, what are you attacking with? I'm going to move up to there, and then I'm going to spend two power to go for mixed technique. Okay. Uh, is that physical or energy attack? Physical. Okay. So it's a four dice physical attack. Okay. I will get three in defense. Survey says four successes, and three of them are crits, so they roll up. Yeah. So that's a spectacularly good attack from the Black Widow. Yeah, she's just rolled in and done like you said. Another two. So Whoa. that's six damage. Ow. So saves. Three, I get. Mm -hmm. Anything that can save my... I'm here. going to show you who the most powerful female superhero is. <laughs> and it's not Cree Blood Girl. Well, unfortunately, I don't have anything I can really add to this except my roll. Mm -hmm. So this is going to hurt. Hope for a big roll-up. Uh, one, but one you do roll-up. Roll up. 
Oh. No, one. So you take one. five damage. Ah. You also gain stagger because of the mix technique. Mm -hmm. So I believe stagger reduces your activations. Uh, yeah, I need to use a shake action, but I will gain five power for that, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh yeah, your first activation must be a shake to remove the stagger condition. Yeah. So essentially it's reducing her down to one. Yeah. It's it's something I quite like. There's only like three effects that you really need to think about yeah. in this game. Because you've got your bleed, your stagger, and oh, what was the other one? Stun. Stun. And then I'm actually going to... Flip away? Flip away. Like a ninja. Flip out like a ninja. Now, hang on, because you had to move in. Yes. You attacked. Yes. And now you're getting a third action to move out? No, that elusive is after the attack's resolved, she may move. Ah, I so see. it's part of that attack, which is why it costs two power. It's so expensive. Yeah, <laughs> but that's okay. not bad. I can I can live with that. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll have a look at that. Oh, mm. and I forgot to mark who I had activated. It was Doc Ock. That is correct. The octopus. Right. My next activation then. Mm-hmm. Uh, hmm. What do I want? What do I want? What could be amusing? So Ultron, I don't really need to worry about because I've dazed him. Yes. Unless somebody can help him. Yeah. Which is possibly possible. Yeah. No. Hmm. What's uh, Spider-Man's defences look like? Spider-Man has three and three and three. He's mm -hmm. three across the board. And he also gets to um, re-roll two of his dice when he's getting energied or struck because of his spidey sense tingling. All right. Uh, hmm. Or Peter Prickles, whatever it was called. Peter Tingle. Yeah. So, I think what's going to happen is I'm going to activate Captain America. Yes. He's going to go for a climb. To throw his mighty shield. Puts his move to a short. Yes. So he's going to bounce up here next to the Spider-Man. Correct him undo. And then he is going to use Shield Slam for two energy. Mm -hmm. uh, so if the target is character size is two or less, uh, after the attack is resolved, he gets thrown short. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a range two. Uh, but it's got six dice on it. Okay. So I'll just move up and give him a lump. Hopefully. Come on, Cap. That's lumpy. That's Three lumpy with two rerolls. Yeah. Or rerolls, roll ups. Yeah. So uh, another, another one. one. So four. Four damage total. And that was a physical. Okie dokie. So I get my three rolls. Don't get that for this because he was just out of that. One roll up. Uh huh which becomes two plus two rerolls for his spider sense or Peter Tingle. Okay. Another one. I. So I actually see if three. I, I take one though. Um, do I get to reroll that? Because it would be at that stage. I suppose it's the target priority. It comes down to the question there. Oh, so attack see. sequence, so um, roll my defense dice, resolve my crits, modify dice. So no, I don't get to reroll that one. Okay. Because it's part of the modified dice phase, so I believe. You take one there. So I take one. I will do that. And then I get to throw you short. Yes. Straight into the red skull. Okay, okay. Land you on his head. Yep. So you'll stop when you hit the red skull. Yep. And then you will take an additional damage for being thrown and hitting him. Yes. And then he has to roll a three dice dodge. He makes a dodge. Yep. To not take damage from having a Peter Parker land on him. Which, which, he, will, which he will do. Which is fine. And Petro will take Takes another one. damage. Yes. Terrible. This is fine. Uh, I've also placed you in range of that downed cube. Mm. Well, uh, these things happen. So that's two activations for Captain America. Mm -hmm. So I'll put his activation token down there. So can Zemo charge and stab you up? <laughs> he can. So I might do a charge, because that would be amusing. Essentially, a move and a fight for one, and then I could fight again. Why would you not? Yeah. So I'm going to charge. So two power will get me around the corner and into crossbones. Uh-huh. Dump, dump. And he will then do his um, attack action, which will be a sword strike with five dice. I'm assuming physical. Yes, let's okay. get physical. My defense is four for physicals. physical. 
I will gain power to damage them, mm -hmm. and it will also cause a bleed. So I fluff two, I get two crits. Mm -hmm. So no, just the three. Okay. So three saves. Okay. I've got four dice. Mm hmm. Because I like being fighty fighty. Not that fighty. I block one. Block one. Oof. So, so you I take, take two. Two. And a bleed token. Oh, sorry. Yeah. You, you take a bleed as well. Yeah. Yeah. I think that means the next time I activate, I take one, don't I? Yeah. And it, I keep taking it until you, I shake it. You take it with every action. Every action. I oh. believe. I'll double check, but I think it's so if you activate twice and you don't shake, yeah. you'll take two bleeds. Because sometimes you'll just yeah. want to leave the bleed on because yeah. you have something more important to do. I'll gain that and that. I will also gain a power for doing the attack. Uh -huh. um, equal to the damage dealt, mm -hmm. plus a bonus one for Red Skull being my Cabal leader. Uh, okay. And then with my second action, I'm going to use Steel Rush. Okay. Which. Um, Same again? Well, no, it goes up. It's a six dice attack. Oh, lovely. Also causes a bleed, but allows me to move afterwards. Right. That's one thing I don't know is if but the effects cause stack. Me to no, I, I believe you only have one. Of each? You, yeah. Okay. So. Well, we'll see. Um, okay, so three so far with uh -huh. one potential roll up for the crit. No. So three. Okay. Uh, my defensive four. Mm -hmm. uh, block one. So I take, take two. two. And I'll gain two more power. And Z move will then two, three, four, that'll become two threes. Retreat to there. Wait, he still had an action to move after that? No. Again, it's part of his attack. Oh god. So Okay. That's all I can do with my action. Alright. Um hmm. how many has crossbones got left? Um he's taken four of a possible six. That's not bad. Yeah. Check what bleed so. does while you're deciding who wants to activate. Because mm -hmm. I know we're all curious. One damage at the end of each of its activations. Yeah, so it's the full activation. Yeah. All right. I think I'm actually going to go with crossbones. Mm -hmm. So let me make sure I've got this right. Which of the powers do I need to spend an action to use? Because I've got one here that would power up one of my attacks, but I assume I would have to so, use the so action for that and then the action so for the there attack. Are three symbols. Uh huh. So the cross. Symbol uh -huh. at the top is action. Okay. The uh, so it, it causes. It's not a. It causes there are, there an are action. three ways to go. Right. You've either got active abilities, reactive abilities, or passive abilities. So going from okay. the top down, the cross is active. So uh -huh. you do it in your phase. Okay. The little three lightning bolts is next. That's reactive. Uh -huh. You use that in my phase whenever uh -huh. I'm doing something. If you've got the power, the last one is passive. It's always on. Right. They don't require an action to use them unless it says action on it. On it. So the okay. first word will be, for example, if it said action, analyze and annihilate, choose a thing. Okay. It would be an action. Otherwise, right. it's a free spend right. when you're doing it. Fair enough. Then in that case, Crossbones is going to use Haymaker mm -hmm. uh, with a day unlike any other. It costs one less, so it's three instead of four. Okay, do we? He's then going to move his short. Yes. Uh, to bring himself up into a slightly better position here. Mm -hmm. So, up to there. Mm -hmm. And then he is going to use his overpower for an additional two. Mm -hmm. And because I've used Haymaker, this attack gains plus three dice. So it's going to be rolling eight. Okay, okay. Forgot whenever I cause you damage, I get a bonus power from Mr. Red Skull. And this is a physical attack. Uh, cool. After the attack is resolved, uh, place this character within one of the target. It's also got a uh, wild throw on it. So if I get a wild coming up, I get to throw you before damage. Okay. So. Oh, that's per. That's not that's terrible. That's three. Three with one roll up. A lot of power for it, though. It was. And that's nothing. So, so three. It's just three on a physical attack. I get three in defense. Uh huh. And Baron Zemo is a strategic genius. So he actually blocks all three, but he could have re-rolled one of those. <laughs> That's okay. Wonderful. Mm. Uh, well, that was a waste of time, and I will take a damage. Mm. Yours. 
<laughs> well, actually, no. Uh, tell a lie. I got in the wilds, but I do move within one of you at the end of it. Oh, yes. As long as you don't stab me up too badly beforehand. Yeah, if somebody else hits you, then you'll be injured and it won't count. Mm -hmm. So time will tell. Yes. Time will tell. So Tony still has to go, as does Captain Marvel. Yes. So Tony Stank. Hmm. So spider Man uh -huh. is going to activate. Okay, what's he going to do? Pick up Cosmic Shard uh -huh. on the way. Because why would you not? It's a victory point, why you're, not? You're only young once. Um, the Extremist Terminal. Mm -hmm. uh, it's currently contested. No, it's not. Oh, that one? Yeah. This one here. Within um, two, I believe. So remove one from a non deus character within two of the extremist console to interact with it. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Just a, a little too far away for helping here. Yeah, yeah. We won't go Spydro first because I'm, I have to interact with it within one mm -hmm. and then I can use it within two so I can ping ball it out. Hi. So Red Skull could use it to heal Spydro. Spydro would have to move to heal himself. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do that. So Scully. Skull will do it. Okay. He's the bigger man. He'll pay one to heal one off Peter within two. Okay. And yeah, so then. Did you grab the shard? No, he's not stupid enough to pick one up that's broken. He's, <laughs> he's got one that works. <laughs> How many power does Cap have? Two? Oh, Cap's got two, yeah. What are you thinking? I'm, I'm going to hit you with a cosmic blast. Okay. So. What he's going to do? Range four. Beaming uh -huh. into there. Um, five dice energy. Uh -huh. And any wilds remove one power before damage is dealt. Oof. Um, and this character gains that amount of power, so I can suck Siphon it off, off. Yeah. yeah. Why would he suck off Captain America? Because he's got cosmic cubes. Oh, uh, yeah. Because he's great like that. Go on then. Roll. That will also cost Uno for that. Okay. I'll drop him down to two. That's fine. He's about to get more anyway. Well, if he deals you damage as well, he gets his bonus, I suppose. Yeah. So, That's two. two. No wild cards, though, so no power ups off them. Okay. Uh, I'm going to roll four in defense. Mm hmm. Yep. I block all of it. Block all of it. Yep. Terrible. Ah, well. It was worth a swing. Always. Always worth a swing. Oh, Peter potentially takes damage from that. Does he? Yeah, because you beam weapon. If you beam or doing an area attack over a friendly, they automatically take one. Oh. I don't know if they get a chance to dodge it. I think I they see. just take one in the face. That I did not know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You can't you can't fire indiscriminately into your friends and not worry about it. Well surely they're smart enough to dodge. They suffer one automatically. Oh right. Okay. So, that's all right. All right. Uh, I want to do something amusing. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to play one of the cards from my hand. Okay. It's called Ricochet Blast. Yes. So, uh, Iron Man's activating, mm -hmm. and it says, if it's Iron Man's activation and he's within four of an allied Captain America, they may spend two power each, which they both have mm -hmm. and will do. Yes. Uh Iron Man may use Ricochet Blast uh, attack shown above once this activation. Range and line of sight are measured from Captain America instead of Iron Man when making this attack. Uh, Iron Man may reroll any number of attack dice during this attack. So okay. basically... You're going to bounce it off a shield? Yeah, basically Iron Man, from where he is down here, is shooting up to Captain America mm -hmm. and bouncing it down into the Red Skull. Okay. For a... Seven dice attack. Okay. Why do I get the feeling you don't mind this? Because by nature I don't mind that. <laughs> it's an energy attack as well. Okie dokie. So, seven to start. That's pretty damn good. Mm -hmm. That's one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Reroll the two. Uh, make that six damage onto the skull. S six damage. I'm going to go heal Hydra. For two power, okay, and redirect that attack into a allied model within two. <laughs> Un unlucky Peter. 
Ah, so sorry, I, Spider Man. Yeah. Mm. So it's um, three saves. Uh, so definitely taking three damage. Four, five, six damage on Peter. Yeah. Well, he caps out at five, so he takes three. All right. Uh, well played, though. And well, that's unfortunate. Poor yeah, and I assume you only get to use these once a yes. game. Yes, yeah, they're used and discarded. That's fine. So that one's gone. But that was fun, and it didn't take an action for Iron Man. Nope. So he now has his two actions to do other funny stuffs. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm going to have him move Yes. at his medium speed. He's got fly. Mm -hmm. So he's just going to fly right over the top of this, land here. Mm -hmm. And then he's just going to blast Zemo in the back of the head. Okay. With his repulsor blast. So after the attack is resolved, a uh, character gains power equal to damage dealt, uh, and it's got a wild push on it. Okay. So he's getting four dice. Uh, well, there's a critical there. Mm hmm. That's one, two. Two. Okay. That's fine. So. Two on Zemo for an energy attack. Energy saves on three. Okay. Zemo is a strategic genius, so he can reroll one of these dice. Okay. Gets to roll up the crit. Right. No, uh, and he gets to reroll. So, so he blocks the two. Blocks two. Uh -huh. And I'd only done two. That's okay. Um, Unfortunate. But and then I will counterattack for the cost of two. Uh -huh. If the attacker is within three, I am. which you are, I roll four dice and cause one damage for each crit or wild card I roll. Okay. Causes me two of the finest power though is a terrible shame. Wow. There's a nice flow to the combat in this game. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Take two damage. Uh, I am the Invincible Iron Man. Okay. Uh, when this character would suffer any damage, reduce the amount suffered by one to a minimum of one. So okay. he will just take one of the finest damage. That's right. And I'll gain uh, one power from the Red Skull, mm -hmm. being my leader. Super Red Skull. Uh, Spydro's dazed and Ultron are dazed, so yep. I could use cards. You could. Uh -huh. Not this turn, but interesting for future, certainly. Yeah. So the only one I have left is Captain Marvel, yeah? I think. How's Widow looking? She's half health towards being dazed. Has okay. taken two, she's got four. All right, well, I'll have Captain Marvel move in to contest. Mm -hmm. No, first thing she needs to do is shake the stagger that she has on her. She's only got one activation this yes, turn. Yes, and we forgot to mark that. Well, I didn't forget to mark it. I forgot to mark it. All right, so shakes her stagger and moves in. Okay. Just to contest that, to keep you from gaining more points. And that will be her turn. That is indeed turn, yeah. All right, so let's figure out who has what. So I've got two VP for the shards. Okay, put you up to five. Uh huh. And then you have I two. control this. Yep. And you got the one Doc Ock has. This. Yep. So that's put you two to more. Seven. Yep. I have one plus two. Yep. So I get one, two, three. So I'm still ahead of the game on nine. On nine. Okay. Mm. Well, you had your two shards. Yes. And how many control consoles? Just one. one? So three total. Okay. Yeah. All right, anything else to do in the cleanup step here? Um, so, dazed characters remove all their damage and flip. Okay, I have and then no one dazed yet. I'm close. Yeah, and then we'll just go on to the next round. So, yeah, so your dazed ones flip. Ultron flips. The Sputter Man. And Peter Porker will also get flipped. This is an interesting mechanic where sometimes they get weaker, mm. sometimes they get stronger. Curious. The Hulk doesn't have a flip side. Uh, he just keeps going until you finally put him down. I see. He's very, very annoying indeed. Okay, let's kick into the, the power phase for round three. Yes. So, uh, who's got what? Uh, power for everybody to start. Yes. Extra power for shards. Now I'm going to have to do a little bit of banking here. Change that to that, and they'll take one each, which is fine. Righto. Uh, that's power taken care of. Mm -hmm. I don't think we have any crisis cards. Nope. No other uh, effects to resolve. Yep, yeah, and no switching around. So, fine. Uh, I'm going to start with Captain America, mm -hmm. who is going to use his shield throw mm -hmm. on the Red Skull. Yes. So, this attack ignores line of sight, uh, and the defending character does not benefit from cover. 
uh, but it's got ricochet. So if I get a wild, after the attack is resolved, this character may make an additional shield throw attack. This attack must target another character within three of the original character and maybe any distance from this character. This additional attack does not have the ricochet special rule. So I can basically double down on this one if I get lucky. Okie dokie. So I'll get four of the finest dice. Mm -hmm. Targeting Mr. Red Skull right here. Yes. Right here. And let's see what we get. Boop. I get the wild and I get a roll up. Mm -hmm. So that will be three damage on the skull. Okie dokie. And it's a physical? Uh, yes, it's a physical. Okie dokie. Uh, how many dice? Four. Four? There you go, sir. Take all three. Nice. And then I get to ricochet off to someone else. Mm-hmm. Fine. Right, do and it that way. I think it's going to be funny just to have it roll down, fling back, and be Spider-Man right in the back of the skull. Okie dokie. So that's another four dice. Yep. Yep. Oh, wow. That's two crits. Mm-hmm. Uh, make that five damage on uh, Peter Parker. Okie dokie. For another physical. How many does he get for defense? Three. Three? Okay. But he still gets to re-roll two. Yeah. So, saves one. No. Saves one. Takes four. Takes four. And uh, that was my first action, yeah? Yep. Uh, well, second verse. Same as the first. Let's mm -hmm. do it again. Can he? Uh, it doesn't say I can only do it once per round. Then go right ahead. Yep. Boop. On the red skull, he only takes one this time. One. Yeah. Doogie doogie. His arm's tired, and no bounce on to Spider-Man. I got greedy. Oh, you blocked that. Blocked that. So, uh, Captain is done. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't gain any power for that attack, unfortunately, but oh well. Baron Zemo, I think, is going to activate Steel Rush. Okay. What's Crossbones currently on one-off? Oh, he's one-off getting stunned. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, I'll just do a sword strike on him. Okay. So five dice. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Strong basic attack. Yeah, it's not bad. It needs to be better. <laughs> one. I've got one. I can re-roll one because I'm a strategic genius. Yeah. Two. Two. Okay. Uh, defense for me on physical is four. Mm -hmm. oh, if I can pick up dice, always helps. Yep. Block it. Blocks those. In that case, I will have to go again, I think. So, we'll see him again. One again. Reroll. No, just one this time. Just the one? Okay. Mm. For the finest to block. I do. Nah. Just about though. Curses. That's all right, you're still bleeding out anyway, so... I am, I am. Well, unless I shake when I activate. Hmm. I'm going to activate Captain Marvel. Mm -hmm. uh, I am going to spend five power mm -hmm. for her binary form. Okay. Which means until the start of this character's next activation, it adds two dice to its attack and defense rolls. Uh, she is then just going to strike the Black Widow for seven. Okay. Seven. Bosh. Mm -hmm. I'll take it. That's four damage. Four. Yeah. And um, it's a physical attack. Physical attack. Yes. Oh, we don't mind physical attack so much. Crits, please, would be nice. Uno. That's a shame. So that's three power for me? She'll be dazed. Yep. Uh, so she's now dazed, yeah? Yep. So I don't really even need to attack her anymore. Uh, so, do I have anything else? Two, I three. think I'm going to go for. Actually, I'll use the Extremis, mm -hmm. activate it, and drop a damage. So it's a power and a damage goes away, isn't it? Yes. Okay. That's well worth it for me because it takes me back from being one off, being stunned. Uh, yours? Okay. So, Doc Ock and Iron Man still have to go? Yes. Well, no, Crossbones still has to go as well. Oh, and Crossbones. Okay. Yeah, I've only activated two so far. Okay. So Ultron. 
Uh -huh. That might be an interesting way to go. Yeah. What is Doc Ox defense? Uh, physical is yep. four, energy is three, mystic is four. I'm thinking about picking up a car. <laughs> and lumping it into me. And lumping it into Captain Marvel. That could be funny. Yeah. So I think I will do that. That will cost me three. Yeah. Also, before you forget, uh, Widow, because she is now stunned, drops the cube. Oh, yes. Within, within range two. Within two. That's true. Let's chuck it over here. So, um, actually, what size is the... The cars? No. What size is the kiosk that Captain America is standing on? <laughs> I think it's uh, probably a four, if I remember right. No, it's size three. I could pick that up. Wait, you're going to pick it up with me on top and chuck it? Yeah. Well, I wouldn't chuck you. You just fall. So I would just land down below? Yeah. Okay. I might not. Choose an inactive terrain feature within three and throw it medium. No, I wouldn't be able to hit her with it. But I can certainly hit her with the car. Yeah. So I will hit her with the car. So you're just, what, bumbling forward and chucking it? Or does it... No, no, I just pick it up from there and slam it into the side of your head. Oh, I see. So... I you don't do even have to move. Beautiful. No, because it's not an action. It's it's my uh, kinetic energy field. Yeah. So that will get picked up and will get slammed into you there. Yeah. Bop. Um, you need to make a dodge. Of? Three dice dodge. And okay. it is uh, against damage of two plus one, so three. So the size of the car plus one is what you're dodging against whenever train's beating you on the head. Okay. Uh, binary form is still in effect, so I gain plus two do dice to the roll. Yep. Oh. Uh, I block one, two, three, and I have a critical in there. Okie okay, dokie. Uh, just three, I block. That's alright. So the car gets smashed around the back of your head. Alright. But since that wasn't costing me anything action-wise to do, why not do it? Yeah. Um, Any damage from that, or was it just a flat three? No, it's just a flat three. It's the size Locked. of the terrain okay. plus one. Um, so for his actual actions then, mm -hmm. Ultron will energy blast Doc Ock. Okay. You're going to be, con you're actually winning that because I'm dazed now. Yep. That's, that's, it's kind of why I did that one there. Yeah. You so kind of have to deal with that. Uh, that's all right. I'll deal with it. If I go past there actually, uh -huh. pick up that on the way. Yeah. So I'm back into scoring for that. And then I will use my second action as energy blast. Mm. Um... Can you knock me off it with the energy blast? No, but if I daze you, you don't count. So yeah, that, and we're contested. Yeah, so nobody gets it. And I'll take nobody getting it for a turn. That's fair enough. Um, what is your defense for Carol? Uh, three and four? Yeah, three and four. Uh, we have no mystic attacks in this uh, base player set, everybody. So not something you have to worry about. You're just worrying about your physical and your energy defense in this game. So I can actually go for Metallic Fury Okay. as an attack. And I actually choose whether it's going to be physical or beam. Ah. So whichever one physical you'll is, want is lower will be this one. Yeah. So it's. Um, I'm still getting plus two, so that's it's actually six or five you're choosing on. Yeah, that's fine. So five then, because it's yeah. a seven dice attack. Yeah. Will cost me three Rather power. Those five power for that. And one, two, three, uh -huh. four, five, six, and seven. Hmm, so three plus a roll up for the crit. No, just the three. Just three, and I'm rolling five back at you. So, in mm -hmm. theory, I should be kind of sort of maybe okay. I get a roll up. I take one here. I do take one. So I'll gain a par and take a damage. Okay, dokie. So I'm still one off being stunned. That's all right. And I'll make sure I'm not lying to you. I'm not lying to you. You also get a bleed. A bleed? Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'll gain power for doing you damage. Okay. So that's him. Uh huh. I think Doc Ock wants to get in on this party. Mm hmm. So he's going to go for his. What's your worst defense on uh, Ultron? On Ultron? Yeah. Three. Uh, is that energy? Beam. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll use my arm lasers from Doc Ock, who's here. And you need to be within range of four, mm -hmm. which you are. I'll pay that. It is a six dice attack. Three, four, 
three, four, five, and six. Mm -hmm. Uh, has pierce, so any wilds allow me to change uh, one of your defending dice successes into a fail. Okay. Uh, two with a roll up. No, just two. two. And I don't get my pierce. And that was beaming. Yeah. So three for saving. Uh huh. Save one. Take one. Take one. Cool. And then I'll just go for a. Hmm, are you within. Three then for a regular strike is the question of questions. You are indeed. Mm -hmm. So I'll just go for a regular strike, which is going to be four dice. Mm -hmm. And this has flurry of arms, so any wilds count as two. Okey dokey. Uh, well, there's a crit. Just the one. So one. Well, it's a standard strike. Yeah, it's just so physical. Four physical save. Save. Yep. And uh, that's Doc Ock done. Okey dokey. Oh, I have Red Skull right. and Pitor Porkor. Yeah, that's fine. Although Pitor Porkor is capped out at the moment because he got hit in the back of the head with a shield. Well, no, he shouldn't be. He was one off. Oh, no, that was... Yes, that's right. I thought I'd... No, I did four, four not up. five. Yeah, that's okay. And then I went for the second one, getting greedy, and instead of targeting him, thought I could bounce again. Okay, so... I think Red Skull... Red Skull... Goes medium, uh -huh. and then if he beams four, that could work. That could work. So yeah, let's do that. So skull, skull's going to take his broken cosmic cube with him, <laughs> because clearly nobody else can be allowed to have this because they're morons. <laughs> Is he just standing there screaming? You are failing me. Yeah, sure. That could be what he's doing. All right, up around the kiosk. Goes up to there. Uh huh. And then he will unleash the power of the cube. Okay. Which will hit both of those delightful fellows. I see. It will cost four power. So I assume you're targeting Iron Man and Crossbones is taking one because you're crossing him? No, in the case of enemy, uh. every enemy takes it. Every one you hit. It's, oh. only, it's only allies only take one from I attacks. See. Okay, well that's important. So seven dice. Uh huh. If I deal any damage after it's resolved, the character may throw the target character short away. Okay. Um, and the wild card ability is after the attack is resolved, target character and characters within one of the target character get stun special condition. So seven dice. Uh huh. Starting with crossbones. Yeah. So he's going to be stunned, uh -huh. but he's also taking five damage. So you've got five to save. And that's energy. I only get two to save. Yes. So I have a potential five. I save one. So four damage he takes, but that caps him out. Okie dokie. And he'll be knocked away short. Where do I put him? I want to just smash him into that. <laughs> it won't make a difference. We'll just it, get rid it of the bin. But it gets rid of the bin. It stops you hitting me with it later on. <laughs> right. So he'll just move and then stop dead. Yeah. And then uh, same again, but into Iron Man. All right. Now, do you only roll the once or do you roll twice? No, you roll for every individual one. That I see. Hit. So seven again. Which is a shame because that was a spectacularly good It hit was. Too. It was. You see, I would imagine a beam attack, it would just hit everybody on the same one, but that's just me. Oh, dear mother of God. So two roll ups. Two roll ups, but no wild cards yet. So he might not be stunned. Please don't be stunned. Not no, stunned. Just but it's five. Five saves. My energy defense is three. And I automatically block one. So uh, blocks a total of two. So he'll take three damage. Okie dokie. Not stunned. And I will important. slam him into that building. Do you not need your wild to slam him in? No, the wild is a stun. Ah, okay. just get slammed from the attack. So I do take one extra? You'll take one extra from okay. being so hit with that. that. There. Mark that there. That's fine. Just doing a little banking with my stuff. Your okay. hand is activated. Huh? And that's your hands activated. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with Iron Man. Mm -hmm. And what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Mm -hmm. So for my first action, I'm going to move. Yes. 
Uh, I can move up to medium. Hmm. I'll just line myself up mm -hmm. so that I can hit both of you. Yes. Uh, with my Repulsor Blast, mm -hmm. which is a range of four. So this should just return the favor. Yep. And then I'm rolling for Baron Zemo first with four dice. Okie dokie. I uh, get three. Three. And it's uh, energy, so I've got three save. Yep, and it's got the push Okie dokie. on wild, so he will be pushed. So save says none, so I'm going to take three. Uh huh. And then I get to push you. Oh, short. I can re roll one of my die in defense, so I'll re roll one of those. No. Oh. Takes three and gets pushed short. Okie dokie. Which will daze poor Zemo. Uh, so let's see. I'll just push you directly at the red skull, mm -hmm. knocking you into him, so he'll have to take a dodge. Okie dokie. Dodges. Okay. And then for the red skull himself, yep. four more dice. Chuck that. Uh, he will be pushed as well, and that's three damage possible to him. Uh, three CMs. Two, and reroll one for Baron Zemo, being a strategic genius. No, it just takes one. Uh -huh. uh, I will get to push you, mm -hmm. and I'm going to push you so that you hit this. Yep. Bonk, and take an extra one. Okay. Oh, that's good. So that's Iron Man done. So spider Man. Yes. Oh, I do like the fact that you're just as good as you always are until the very last moment. There's not too much degrading. Not always. Like I say, some go up, some go down, some stay the same mm -hmm. from what I've seen. Okay, so Spider-Man. Uh-huh. You trying for Doc Ock? Musing on the divine, let's put it like that. <laughs> so that is currently, you have, yep. you have, you yep. have. I yep. could get that if I wanted. Yeah. However, you have two of the mm, Not two, I could, I could pick up a third. <laughs> you wanted. could with Spider-Man, but it would kill him. Crossbones. Oh, he's hasn't activated this turn. He hasn't activated, but he's about to flip, so he's, he's stunned. Flip, so he's not going to count either. Yeah. And Iron um, Man is um, in decent shape. He's oh, actually no, tell a lie. Three. Iron Man. All right, we're going to have to rewind this a little bit. Yes. Iron Man only has five health. All right. So rewind. Uh, take whatever damage he did to Red Skull off Red Skull. Yep. Take whatever he did to Zemo off Zemo. Okay, doogie. Uh, he is stunned, and I need to move him back to where he was, hitting that building. Nice. I thought he was on. He had six health, not a, a piddly five. So, so skulls okay. Right there. And Zemo's okay. Yes, and we need to move them back. That's so better. So for the skull, he was here. Yeah. And Zemo was about here. Yeah, that sounds about right. That makes life more interesting. Uh, yeah, he had. So in that case, that changes exactly what I want to do then. Exactly. So that's that's important. Apologies for that, folks. So holding, holding, I'm holding. So that could be a 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, it could be 2-2. Two and two. And I have two of the shards, and you have two of the shards, so it could just be a tie round. Yeah. Because I can activate neither of these now. So I'm actually not going to go that way. I'm going to go this way. Oh, you're coming after the dock? Yeah, because I don't think Spider's going to be around for another turn, so he needs to do some damage to justify him being brought here to play. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, he goes to there. Uh -huh. He's now within three. Yes. So the first thing he's going to do is um, taser webs. Mm -hmm. Cost three power. The attack deals one or more damage. Yeah. The target is stunned. It's not going to make a difference for this, mind yeah. you. There's another one I've been forgetting. So for Doc Ock, mm. anytime he rolls a crit on a die roll, mm. any die roll, mm. he gains a power. Mm. So I should have been doing that. Silly me. But so that's my own fault. This is six attack on energy on Doc Ock. Okay, he's got three on defense. So. One roll up, two one, total. Two. Three. So three in total. Mm -hmm. 
So I'll roll three to defend. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, I've defend one, so he'll take two. Okay. And then he will webline. Okay. So webline, which is within four. Uh huh. Um, oh, I can actually throw you. Oh, throw not pull. Well, I can do either. Either one will pull you away from the objective, so you're not scoring it either way. Mm. So it doesn't really matter. Is it medium, short, what? Yeah, the, I think they're both short. Okay. So it's, yeah, that's where I want to send you to. I'm just going to pull you forward. So okay. I need to roll those. It will just cost me my other three power. Okay. And I'll just pull you directly towards me. Okay. Uh, that gets me just off the objective yeah. and the more. Fair enough. All right, done. He true. Uh, I can activate nothing else. Um, Black Widow is the only one I have left, uh -huh. and she's dazed. Yep. Now, whenever they're dazed, do they activate? No. Or no? No, they can't do anything. All right, so that's another way that that first player token could go then. Because I think, because I have two dazed this round, it'll go to you going first next round. Hmm. Um, no, because I was the last person to activate. Ah, okay. Because Spider Man was the activatee. Got it. So that's that for the uh -huh. end of that round. So it's yep. clean up. But totaling up where we're sitting at at the moment. Mm -hmm. so, so I hold. We each one. hold an extremist. Right, so, so that's one each. You go to eight. I go to that. How many cosmic shards? Two. So you go to two, and I also have two. So I'm up to 12. Uh huh. This kind of round could finish it. Hmm. All right. It's frisky, uh, isn't it? We'll be back in a minute. Okay, round four, I believe we're on. Oh, three, only three. I think you missed one. Yeah, doesn't sound like me, but it's possible. It's possible, anyway. Makes no odds. No, no. Because this will, this will not reach round six. No, no, it will not reach round six. Uh, okay, so I'm going first then, yeah? Mm -hmm. Right, so Tony is not a happy chap. Well, before that, you need to do the power phase. Oh yeah, power phase, sorry, apologies. Extras for the guys holding the shards yep and damage for them as well yep and doc Ock, because of that damage has hit his threshold so he's going to be stunned this round oh dear before we even start oh that's a shame yeah but oh well mm. so he'll have to throw that away from himself yes at Thin range two two so he's just going to chuck it out to here up towards the good captain. Catch. Don't let him have it. Right. First activation then. Hmm. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with Captain America. Mm -hmm. He's got America's ass. He does have America's ass. His shield throw, mm -hmm. which he's going to use. So he's just going to range four, four dice onto Spider-Man, see if we can't finish him off. Okay. Uh, same again, if I get any wilds, I get to ricochet. Okay. Which might let me bounce on and hit uh, Ultron in the skull because it's going bonk, bonk, bonk. See what we get. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure, yep, that's fine. So four, uh, it does bounce on mm -hmm. and it's two damage on Spider-Man. Okay, so for a physical. three saves with two rerolls. For is Peter Tingle. Go, oh, Peter Tingle. On, damn it. Peter Tingle for the win. Does bounce on to Ultron, though. Bounty, bounty. Four on Ultron physical. I get two roll ups. Mm -hmm. uh, three damage on Ultron. So three. He doesn't have a Peter Tingle. Which no. is kind of a shame. Block one. Takes two. Yep, takes two. This is fine. And then let's do the same again. I want to knock Peter Parker out early so mm -hmm. you don't get to activate him. Come on, take him out. That's more like it. So I reroll one. Mm -hmm. So it's three damage three. and it will bounce on to Ultron. Okay. And their survey says. One, one damage. <sighs> yes. Peter Tingle, go. Oh, God, no, not the spider senses. Peter Tingle. Damn it! <laughs> On to Ultron then. 
That's better sense of saving your butt right now. Yes, it's good, isn't it? It is. Hup, ultra on takes. One. One. No. Mr. Stark, why? Damn it. Um, Captain America has done nothing. Okay. So, mark him as activated. Mm. And just just because he did so little, I'm marking him as Hydra this round. Heal Hydra. <laughs> That's one way of doing it, certainly. Yours. I think. What's Capitan Marvel's um, physical save? Uh, it's three. Three. Yeah, her energy is four. Uh, she still has binary force on the go because she hasn't activated it yet. Uh -huh. So it triggers until her next activation, right. which is very good. She's got five. Five on her. So she only needs to take one and she yep. loses this turn anyway. Yes. Okay. I'm going to go with Ultron next then. Okay. Yeah. Ultron's going to go for Metallic Fury. Okay. And causing physical damage. So seven dice. Uh-huh. So how many health does Ultron have left? He's got one, possibly two. He's not going to be around long, which is why he's doing this now. Yeah, I didn't realise he was as badly hurt, or I might have targeted him sooner. Three plus two roll-ups. No, just the three. Okay. Could be enough. So, that was a physical? Yes. Okay, so five in defence. Mm -hmm. uh, Block one. With a roll up? Yep. Two block. Two block. And you did so three? Did three. So, so I take the one. She knocks uh, her. She is stunned. Good. Bonk. On the head. Okay. Damn it. So that was his first action. Mm hmm. Doc Ock's already stunned for this round. Yeah. The numpty. He is. His second action will be to just move round to here. Yeah, you'll take that. Well, it puts two of us there, yeah. because next turn we're all injured around that. Mm -hmm. So it's just numbers game at that one. Yeah. That's me. You're good. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with Crossbones. Mm -hmm. Crossbones mad, so he is going to be using Haymaker, mm -hmm. which is costing three instead of four because of Captain America. Okay. Then he's going to use his overpower to swing for Baron Zemo. Okay. So eight dice attack on Baron Zemo. 78. Guarantee it's going to be terrible. Because mm -hmm. it's always terrible whenever I buy big dice pools. Yep. Oh, well, you've got lots of things with stuff on them. One, two, three. So four with a roll up. Mm -hmm. Yep. Five so damage five. for Zemo. That's not bad. Yeah. It's physical. So I get it three is. dice save and I can re-roll one. Mm -hmm. Because I'm a strategic genius. Yes. And I will almost undoubtedly if I survive this counter attack. So, we roll my one. Nope. Hold out. Right, so five damage. So I take five damage, so he won't be. I should knock him. Counter attacking that. Hand. Yep. That's fine. Does uh, he move so to anywhere or do anything clever? Um, with the overpower, it has throw mm -hmm. uh, on the wild. I don't remember if I rolled any wilds. You did. Uh, then I can throw you away. Mm -hmm. So I will just bin you away short, directly away from myself. Uh, short, like so, it's fine. And that was only my first action, so mm -hmm. my second action, uh, if you're in range two, will be a strike. I don't think you are. No. You are not. But the Red Skull is in pretty decent shape, so I think... It's not bad, you know. Actually, I wouldn't even be there, because at the end of it, I get placed within one of you. Oh, well, that's a shame, isn't it? It is at that. So I believe that will be the end for Crossbones this round. He has okay. five health. He Iron has Man. five health, yes. Currently has two power. Mm -hmm. I know you're in range for beaming from the Cosmic Cube. Yep, and you're in range for beaming from my Repulsor Blaster. And I have enough to put a couple of extra dice on it as well. In all honesty, all you really have to do is aim at the points right now. Because, quite frankly, he could run away, grab that, get onto that. That's getting you an additional two victory points, which should put you over the top. Yeah. 
But, or you want to go for an epic finish where you murder someone? It's not so much the epic finish. It's if I leave Iron Man in a position where he can do something to me, then mm. I don't get anything. True. So. Well, Iron Man only moves medium, so he's not super quick. Yeah, but you don't always need to move quickly to do stuff, mm. like bouncing things off cap shield and that sort of thing. Well, I'm only allowed to do that once again. So, I'm going to activate Spider-Man. Okay. So Spider-Man is going to go to there. Uh-huh. And then he is going to use gonna yank. impact webbing. Okay, what's that do? Um, four dice physical attack and it pushes you. Okay. So, you need to be within three. No, within four for impact webbing, oh, you're which well I am. Do one. one. Okay. Uh, is that energy or physical? I'm guessing physical. Um, impact is physical, yeah. Okay. So four dice to defend. Mm -hmm. Bop. Uh, no, I take one damage. Take one damage. Excellent. So I'll gain two power, one for the damage and one for... Uh, I'll gain one for taking the damage. The thing. That's one thing I think I keep forgetting to do is taking power when I take damage. I'm not sure if I keep doing it or if I keep forgetting it or not. Something to watch out for. And then he will push you short away. Okay. So he's gonna, just going to push you to the back of the edge of the board. Board there. Okay. So that'll be his action. So he's activated. Okay. Right. So I just have him left, but I could pass. Do I want to pass? I think it's only, you can only pass if you've got fewer active at the start of your turn. Ah. Okay, so Iron Man is going to use his Friday AI. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to move medium. Mm -hmm. And he's going to shoot the Red Skull in the face at a range of four. Seems harsh. Well in. Uh, so it's a six dice attack on the skull. Yep. Four, five, and six. Good. Uh, so that's three with two rolling up. Mm -hmm. uh, make that five. Okay. Red Skull. And it's physical or energy? Energy. Okay. So get three saves. Of which I make none. Well, again, five energy for that. Yep, which will stun Skelly. All right. So. Yeah, you have to chuck that away. I do, that but I don't know two. where the two is. Oh, there it is. Dum, 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 I do like the way dum. you did these in different color. It does make them a little easier to identify. Well, I'm like that. Yeah. Uh, so that's, that's everything that. I can do this round. Um, and left. He's dears now and he's dears, so no, that's me. Okay, so that's end of round. Let's uh, tidy up. Mm. Uh, so Doc Ock is now going to flip. Yeah, well, before you, you start doing that, victory yeah. points first. Oh, right. Uh, so currently yeah. you hold the terminal. Uh, do I hold the terminal? Oh, yeah, with Iron Man? With Iron Man. I've got I hold one the terminal. Uh, for the cube? Yep. I also have a cube. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. So then next round we can after we tidy and flip. Alright, let's start the new round. So Jerry, I activate it last, so you get the initiative. That's nice that I finally see this. <laughs> you get to touch it just once. It's got Ultimate so, Captain Marvel and uh, Nick, Fury, I Nick Fury on it. Yeah. All right. Who would you like to activate first to ruin my day? Well, the first thing is power phase before you do anything oh, else. Oh, yes. I keep. I always forget that. In fact, I'm going to do a little bit of banking here. So three of those out to bring one of the bigger ones in. Three of those out to bring one of the bigger ones in. Everybody's got one. One additional for the shard I'm holding. Mm hmm. However, I still take that one additional damage. Captain America is on four out of five damage. Interesting. Yeah. It almost went the way of Doc Ock. Well. Uh, but my guys are all pretty well powered up this round. Except for Crossbones, who's just gassed out. Well, 
them's the breaks. Mm -hmm. However, um, Ultron will take one damage, which will actually kill Ultron. Really? Yep. Oh, that's unfortunate. Holding onto the shard for too long. Yeah. Poor Ultron. Well, there you go. There's your, your poor dead baby boy. That's right. Did what he needed to do. But kill points do not matter in this game unless you wipe out your opponent. Yeah. So, with that in mind, mm -hmm. who wants it? He'll want it. The clever thing to do here would be something that will stop Captain America. Mm. You only need to do one damage to him to daze him, and that's him out for the rest of the turn. Yes. And puts us back onto an equal footing. Yes. What if I do a Cosmic Blast. Oh, that sounds good. What's his defense against um, energy? Four. So that could work. His weakness is apparently Mystic. Yeah, I imagine a lot of people's weakness is Mystic. Unfortunately, we haven't seen any Professor Xy types kicking around. Yeah, or Doctor Strange's. Um, before damage is dealt, you lose one power for each wild. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so I'll good. lose three power and you will gain it I, believe. Uh, I gain it there you go sir that's three of the finest power I'll just take that one there okay um, and that's one roll up one roll up as well no Oof. so five it's, it's still five so even if I get all four of these I'm really dying for a couple crits. of crits yeah successes and at least one crit and then another one to, to save me Make sure I put that out of the way so I don't just roll five like an idiot oh no he's he's done I get it Bonked. Bonus, bonus power for having damaged you. That and that and that. Thank you. Okay. He will. I have to throw this. So I need the range too. All right. So I'm going to chuck this back at Doc Ock. There. Which I think is only fair. Mm -hmm. Playing catch, I'm yeah. feeling. So I'm going to pick up this one behind me uh -huh. because I need to score yeah. and he will unleash the cube I think okay so unleash the cube isn't an action so I can do it with a move so I will attempt to get in a position where I can beam two of your men instead of just one of your men yeah you've got it so if I go to there uh -huh. And then unleash the cube for four power. All right. And beam right down Main Street again. Pew, yep, pew, pew, you pew. got me. So seven dice. Yes. Uh, and I'm within... Three and two. Well, I'm within two of Zemo now. Mm -hmm. So Zemo's strategic genius means I can reroll one of my attack dice as well. Very nice. Get at it. Really should have been using him together earlier. Mm -hmm. Two, four, six, seven. So seven into crossbones. Oof. I'll re-roll the blank. Stays a blank. So four hits with one roll up for the crit, uh -huh. which becomes another hit. So five hits. Five hits versus my two defense. Mm. Uh, no reality warping there, which is a shame. I feel both and take five flat damage, which wipes out... Crossbones. Crossbones is dead, and then he is gone. See him again into the Iron Man. Iron Man. Yep. So seven dice. Uh -huh. Oh my! Uh, That's four with five with two roll-ups. Six with two roll-ups. Oh god. Um. Seven. Becomes seven. I won't. To my won't re-roll anything three. there. So, basically I have to make at least one of these or I'm done. Hmm. Bump. I made one. And it's a crit, so I roll up. So, I save two. Take five. Take f oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, then Iron Man is down. I believe even, yep, even by menacing one for the Invincible Iron Man, he takes an additional four to drop off. That's all the skull can do. Right. Well, I need to hit 16, but you're going to get more than me anyway, I think. Yeah. So I think I'm just going to murder Peter Parker with Doc Ock. That seems excessive. So 
at range three. I would say worse than excessive. That's terrible. You're out, so I need to move up a little. Mm -hmm. I'll grab the shard that's there anyway. Yep. And then I'm in range three, so I'm just going to hit you with my lasers. Okay. So six dice. Not worried about the Peter Tingle. Six dice is enough. Not for the Peter Tingle. No. Or not. So that's two wilds. Two. Will uh, I do anything clever? Yeah, it lets me negate one of your successes. So okay. you've got two to save, re-rolling two. So one save, one roll up, and one blank. And my roll up says, no, still a blank. So you cancel one of those. Yes. So I'll take a wound. And die. And die. Poor Peter. Bye bye, Peter. He was so close with his Peter Tingle. <laughs> so close. A little bit of vengeance, but that's Doc Ock done, leaving me Captain Marvel. Zero. And actually, yep. just because I could have been clever, mm -hmm. I could have moved this way, still hit Peter, and had control of that. Okay. Which will give you two. Mm -hmm. I just need two. I'm holding one. Yeah. Are you holding one? Red Skull's got one in his hand. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll just go for the Black Widow, I think, I suppose. Why not? Why well, not? If you can bounce Captain Marvel off. Just going to go for mixed technique. In fact, hang on. For the, who do you have left? You have Zemo? Zemo and Widow. Yeah, Red so Skull's if you go Zemo activated. first, that forces me to activate Marvel. And then if you can bounce Marvel away, I don't have the activation to get back at you. Nah, that's all right. <laughs> it makes no odds. Um, so Black Widow is going to go for her mix technique. Mm -hmm. So four dice attack. Okay. Um, it can stagger you, which okay. would put you down to one move anyway. Ah, uh, I see. I um, don't think I've got anything that I can actually use in there. No, they require weird things. They require weird things. All uh, situational on mine. And, uh, blah. Does the blah with the blah. Yeah, nah. None of that. Uh, you get one? Get one. Okay. You know. And it's... It's just physical. Okay, so that's three. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, block it. Block it. That's all right. But does it have anything whizzy on it for the wild? After the attack is resolved, um, I may advance short. I'm not going to. Okay. Um, but what I will do is hit you again in the exact same way. Okay. Okay. So four attacks. Physical. One roll up for the crit. No. So two hits. Okay. Uh, Do you get my elusive? Three. Blocked. Two blocks. Yep. Nothing happens today. Ah, well. All right. Uh, I'll use binary form mm -hmm. on Captain Marvel to start things off. Mm -hmm. And then I am just going to. What's your worst for defending? Beamings. Beamings. Energy. Yeah. Uh, I get more dice on the attack, so I'm just going to punch you in the face for seven. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Uh, that'll be four, four with a roll up. With a roll up. Make it five. Five. Three saves. Save right. two. I'm a mixed martial artist, so blanks count as blocks. Oh, right. Um, so that's three damage. So I take three, yeah. which is a little unfortunate, but you know. And I will gain three there. And that'll end my turn. Hmm. Okay. So Zemo. Yeah. Is he going to do anything? Uh, he can. He can just wander up to that. Walk up to there. Pick that up. Yeah. And walk back to here. And controlling that. that. Yeah. And at the end of the round, when we're cleaning up, you'll gain three, three. taking yep. you over the top. Well played. Interesting. Really interesting. Really like to pick up. There's a, a couple of little things, just mechanics you have to remember to keep doing. Like yeah. When you're taking damage, getting that power back. But once you get into the rhythm of it, it's really fast to play. Yeah. I need to actually... Read your cards? It's not even reading the cards. There's an awful lot of synergies. So mm. if Red Skull is within uh, of somebody, then they mm. get... Uh, 
if Zemo is within, uh, then people get the re-roll. Yeah. And some of the cards only work if you're tag teaming people and things like that. So yeah. see, th you this can't is kind of why I was bringing Iron Man across this way to begin with to get into range of Cap, mm. so that I could bounce off that shield because I didn't realize that until we had started playing. Yeah. So but a lot funky. of fun. Yeah. Definitely want to give another go sometime. Uh, everybody, tell you what, get your comments in below. If we made any mistakes, we are just learning. Uh, drop them in the comments below to remind us. Uh, we'll obviously try not to make them again, but end of the day, we're gamers just like you. So we'll move on. We'll see you again soon. We hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.